um, move down just a little bit because it needs to go down at the foot of the stairs. Right. I've been home for a while and they got a couch. Okay, so down real gentle. I don't want to just don't set up where there's a I know, I was careful. Now you got to push it up. I got it. Good. There you go. If we take the door off the hinges. Would it be would it be smaller if we flipped it? Okay. Now yeah, now it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Got that. Oh, um we uh got a sofa. And this is it, it's right here on the, on the ground. It's been quite a day. It's been a busy day. We've gotten a lot done. Obviously you saw that we got a, a couch. We eyed that the other day. But uh, we, we didn't have a means to, to actually get it. And uh, we rented a U-Haul, which was very inexpensive because we only needed it for like an hour. And we just grabbed it from like, the U-Haul place was two miles away from the place we bought the couch. And then that place was like five miles away from our apartment. So that, went, that worked out well, although it was a little difficult to get up the steps. Anyway, we actually returned that dining set we opened it up, started putting it together, and we're like, this is garbage. It is. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I I don't think we're going to buy any more furniture from Walmart. I think those days are done. Those days were numbered with a giant one, and that's, it's over. So we are thinking that we missed out on some good deals at Ikea. For example, there was a dresser there, and we were like, ooh, this is kind of expensive, but that's only because we didn't know how expensive dressers were. And then we looked around and we're like, oh my god, dressers are expensive, holy crap. So now we're like, you know what, I think we want that dresser because it was nice and big and it was very, very inexpensive compared to everything else. So I think we're actually going to make a return trip to Ikea this weekend, um, especially because now we need a dining set because that one was garbage. And um, we'll probably get everything very inexpensive there. So I think that that's what, probably what we'll do. We'll probably actually just drive up there this weekend again because it was cool. Now we know what to expect, and now that we're a little better settled, um, we know what we'll probably need. So it's it's been good so far. We've done well. Um, everything we've gotten has been pretty inexpensive, and it's been quality stuff. And my parents have actually helped out a lot, um, just helping to get the, the place set up. Clean. They've cleaned a lot, and that's that's been the biggest help because I suck at cleaning. And I haven't been there. And she's been gone, so that's that's mostly what they've been doing, and it's been really helpful. Um, so, if you guys are watching, thanks. They're actually behind me. They're, um, we're gonna go get dinner now at IHOP, and then they're gonna head out of town. And it'll just be me and her. And she's actually, uh, she doesn't have to go back to school till Tuesday, so we actually have a few days where we can try and get some things in order and get used to, uh, living on our own a bit. So, yeah, real life starting soon. Real life begins with IHOP. Just finished up eating, and uh, we're here with them, and they're ready to hit the road. I just wanted to thank you guys so much yeah. for everything, because like, if if it wasn't for you, there's no way would we would be in the position that we're in. So I just wanted to thank you publicly, that <laughs> because we really do appreciate it. Well, you're so. welcome. We've enjoyed everything we can do, and we're glad that we can help. Thanks. I might need help sometime. <laughs> we're going to be old one day. We, we was talking. We said, we're going to be old one day. I hope we can't still love us. Well, that was very nice. We had a, a wonderful meeting with my parents. And also, I already said it, but, you know, they were incredibly helpful at the time they were here. And the apartment's really coming together. You're probably wondering why I'm shirtless. But I'll get to that in a second. Since we come back, we uh, signed up for Netflix. Apparently, you get the first month free. Well... It's a trial, so we get to try everything out. So I got that working on the Xbox. Uh, we looked at the selection tonight. It's pretty cool. Like, there was a lot of stuff on there I, I didn't know that was on there, like, you know, Rugrats, Angry Beavers, stuff like that. I was like, wow, cool, I'm excited. I get to watch stuff I really enjoyed as a kid. Um, 
besides Netflix, after I got that set up, Mallory was like, you know what? I'm gonna put the bed together tonight. And I was like, why? We don't get the mattress until, you know, the 10th of uh, August. And she's like, no, I want to put it together tonight. You know, she has a point. If we are considering going to Ikea to get furniture, particularly a dresser, we do need to set up the bed so we know how much room we have, where we have room, etc. So, she talked me into setting up the bed. I didn't think we were going to get through it all, but we did. We actually built the entire thing. There were a lot of parts. Like, a lot. There were a, a, a large amount of parts. But we did it. And uh, this is our bed. I really like it. Uh, you guys haven't seen it yet, but um, this, well, obviously this is it. But it has like a, a park bench type headboard, which I think is just so cool. And one of the end tables that we were going to use as an end table is probably going to be a nightstand. And for over there, we're either going to find something small or not. I don't know. We originally had it over so we could get like two of these there. Um, but we're thinking we're going to put the dresser maybe here, and there's just not enough room for the dresser. Oh, you're probably wondering on my shirt list. Well, it was hot <laughs> while I was putting this thing together. It probably took about two hours to build this bed, which um, is probably pretty good. I mean, the bed was very inexpensive con compared to the other beds we had priced. Um, and pretty much at IKEA, you save a crap load of money. The trade-off is you have to build it yourself. But they make it really easy, and it was really easy. Like it was, we, under, it was there was never a part that we were like, oh, I wonder what this means. We got it. It just took some time. So I, I praised IKEA before. I'm gonna praise IKEA now, and I'll probably praise IKEA again by the end of the week. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and let's be back tomorrow, shall we? When Mallory doesn't actually have to go to school, but we're going anyway. She has access to her classroom tomorrow, so she's finally going to be able to see it, because up to this point she hasn't been able to. So I'm actually going to go with her, and we're going to take a look at her class, uh, because she's got to get her room set up for the, the many, many children. She's teaching grades kindergarten through six, but there's like multiple classes of each one, right? Yes. How many students do you have? I don't know. That's what I want to ask tomorrow. Like several hundred? Yeah. That's a lot of people. Anyway, join us tomorrow.